Good morning, everyone. Our opening song will be Beyond the Moon and Stars. Beyond the moon and stars, as deep as night, so great our hunger, Lord, to see your light. The sparrow finds her home beneath your wing. So may we come to rest where angels sing. Our eyes have longed to see your loving face, to live within your courts for all our days. Beyond the moon and stars, as deep as night, so great our hunger, Lord, to see your light. The sparrow finds her home beneath your wing, so may we come to rest where angels sing. Your roads have led us, Lord, cross desert sand. We place our hopes and dreams within your hand. Beyond the moon and stars, as deep as night, so great our hunger, Lord, to see your light. The sparrow finds her home beneath your wing. So may we come to rest where angels sing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Francis Xavier, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Dolores Branchode and Maria Gomez Vieira. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. He sets up victory like walls and bulwarks. Open the gates so the righteous nation that keeps faith may enter in. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace. In peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For in the Lord God you have an everlasting rock. For he has brought low the inhabitants of the height. The lofty city he lays low. He lays it low to the ground, casts it to the dust. The foot tramples it, the feet of the poor, the steps of the needy. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. 
We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain and sat down. His disciples came to him and he taught them, saying, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell and great was its fall. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Friends, the scriptures today talk about depth of faith from the saint of the day, St. Francis Xavier, who the church models as one of the best patrons of being missionary in its efforts. Francis Xavier was notorious for going to the ends of the earth to speak and preach the mission of Jesus Christ. As Jesus talks to us in the gospel, he talks about building our house on rock. How strong is our faith in the face of adversity? What is our response? We become to question, where is God in my life? Why is God allowing this to happen? Or are we like Job, who remain faithful in the face of adversity? This is truly important. This is something I faced many weeks ago in the sudden passing of my father. Father Rico, how are you able to get through? I know where he's gone. I'm sad, but we need to move forward. I'm going to see him again. This is having our faith built on rock. Otherwise, why am I even a priest? This is the basis of our foundation. As the Lord says, if you only love those who love you, what reward will you have? Our faith needs to be challenged because then we see the basis of it. When God is all warm and cuddly and fuzzy, sure, it's easy to love him. But do I love him in the face of adversity? When the storms go against my house, those of us that have a shallow faith are going to crumble. Those of us that have a faith that is deeply rooted in Jesus Christ, nothing can touch us. St. Paul says nothing can separate us from the love of God. So what are we afraid of? Friends, what are you afraid of? How are you building your, your house of faith? Is it on rock or is it on sand? The Lord is challenging us. What is our response? Let us pray. With confidence and trust in our merciful and kind God, we offer to him our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who hold leadership positions within the church, that God may strengthen and guide them. As they witness lives of faith and service, we pray. Let us pray for national and local leaders. May the Holy Spirit lead them to find peaceful solutions to conflict and division, we pray. Let us pray for those who are most vulnerable to this coronavirus. May the Lord place them under his care and protection, we pray. Let us pray for our local community here at St. Joseph. May the Lord look graciously upon the needs of those who are most vulnerable among us, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Dolores and Maria, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May the Lord grant them eternal rest, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. 
Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may, with our brothers and sisters, eagerly hasten toward you. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you, my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants Dolores and Maria, whom you have called from this world to yourself, 
Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Francis Xavier, whose feast day we celebrate today, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Beyond the moon and stars, as deep as night, so great our hunger, Lord, to see your light. The sparrow finds her home beneath your wing. So may we come to rest where angels sing. Upon our darkness, Lord, a light has shone. You chose to dwell with us in flesh and bone. Beyond the moon and stars, as deep as night, so great our hunger, Lord, to see your light. The sparrow finds her home beneath your wing, so may we come to rest where angels sing. God bless you. Have a good day, everyone.